Hi everyone, Sam here at Solo SFX, and in this video we're going to be talking about those cool features inside the live cam, such as save live, hide from HDMI output, and the recording of audio with your live cam capture. So, how do you do this? Well, we're going to dive into the settings of our live cam in the bottom right hand corner there. And as you can see, we've got our live cam queue. It's currently on the front camera. <laughs> so trippy. Uh, and as you can see, we've got all the regular settings. But the one we are going to look at today is that save live. So it's just below the fade out options. Now, what does this do? Well, exactly what it says on the tin. Basically, when this is enabled, any time you queue this live camera queue, it is also recording a copy of what that camera sees to your device. In other words, saving a complete copy of what the camera sees. It's pretty mind-blowing because it means that in the action of picking up an object or prop or performing your show, you're not only queuing this amazing feature, this queuing this live cam onto the display, but you're also creating your own social media content, you're creating promo material, or you're just creating a video that you can review at a later date to check on your angles or how you came across in your performance. So this is pretty, pretty mind-blowing. And I'm sure it's a feature that will be widely adopted by loads of other apps as well. So how do we activate it? Well, it's a simple toggle switch like everything in, in Solo Studio Pro. So we're just going to toggle that on. But you'll notice when we toggle that on, one of those options in the bottom right hand corner, the hide from external display, is now available for use. So as you can see, toggled off, not available, toggled on, available. Now when this is available, what it does is it enables the user to hide the live camera output from going onto the screens, onto your projector. Now this is particularly useful if you wanted to record a part of your show, but you didn't necessarily want to project it onto the screen to the audience. Again, giving you the option to capture more content during your show that doesn't need to be on a screen for the audience to see. So this is a really, really cool feature and again, something that would just opens up so many possibilities for performers all over the world. It's, it's mind blowing for me. Um, I'm already using it to capture content of me on stage, which I can then use to get more bookings. So pretty mind blowing. So how would you hide from the external display? Well, it's a toggle switch. We're going to toggle that. And obviously straight away that now when queued would not display on our external HDMI output. I know, right? Pretty crazy. Um, so what else can I tell you about in this? Well, at the moment, you can see that there's one more grayed out box and that's the record audio. Now you can't record audio with your camera feed if the queue is not set to override. So as you can see, override is disabled at the moment. But as soon as I enable override, I now have the record audio function available. And that's one very simple reason. If you try and record audio, and send audio from the same device, you can end up in a bit of a feedback loop. We've all heard it with microphones, right? Um, and that's what we don't want to capture. So to avoid that from happening, when you overlay a live camera, so for example, if I was to now trigger this live camera on top of some music, I can then have the video display, no problem. And the live that would be saved would not have audio to stop getting that feedback loop happening in the recording video. However, if it's set to override and the live camera is the only active cue in your show, then I do have the ability to record audio because there wouldn't be any interference from other, any other playing audio. So I'm going to set that to record audio. So as you can see, I have override enabled, I have save live enabled, and I have hide from external display, which means in a moment when I cue this, you aren't going to see it on the external display. But hopefully, <laughs> we will be recording it. So, and I'll be able to show you that. So I'm gonna exit this and I'm going to enable my external output so that I hide from you that I'm queuing it, just as an audience would have it hidden from them. So now I'm going to queue that live cam that we've just set up. Now I'm gonna look at this camera here so that you know this is definitely the video that we are recording live in this moment. So I don't know what I could be doing here, but let's just stop the recording, hey? So I've now just stopped the queue. And I'm, to prove that this has worked, I'm going to take my external monitor off so you can see my settings. I'm going to go into the plus icon and I'm going to import a video because that camera, uh, that sorry, that live camera has just saved that recording to my camera roll. So if I now go into my videos, 
The most recent video, as you can see, is a 13 second long video of my device from camera, which of course is the video we've just made. So now when I cue, uh, when I open the settings for this, I'm gonna play this video and hopefully you should be able to hear me talking absolute gibberish once again. And there you go. So as you can see, it's actually captured both the video and audio of that playback. And it's done that, hiding it from the display. It's done that um, with audio because we had it all set up and it's done it perfectly. So I'm really, really excited about these features. I hope you are too. There is just one more thing to mention and that's this. When you have save live and hide from external display enabled, you can actually queue a live camera queue without having a HDMI output at all attached to your device. So in other words, if you were performing just an audio only show and had a cable run into your PA system, but then you attached an external camera, then you can still queue that live camera in order to capture live material of you performing on stage without displaying it obviously on a HDMI output because you don't have one. So I can actually show you that in action. So I'm gonna leave the settings as they are, but if I go back to the main screen now, you'll be able to see that even though I'm not extending, you know, I have my HDMI output turned off, I can still cue this live camera and I'm still recording this footage right now. So even if you're performing a, a show that doesn't need an external monitor, you don't need your logo or screen for anything else, you can still capture content and use that for your promotional purposes. So this is an extremely exciting feature. It's completely new to the industry and I'm so, so thrilled about it. I hope you enjoy playing with this. And as always, if you've got any questions, head to our Solo Community Facebook group for our users, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as you can.